In this video, we're going to review sending GIFs in Darkroom Booth 3. To start off, we're going to click on the Settings tab and then switch down and we're going to choose the number of pictures we want to shoot. So I'm going to choose five here. And we're going to go and we're going to click over to Photo to Phone. And then we are going to look at the image size. You can choose all the image sizes here. You can choose Preview, Medium, Full Size, or a Custom Size. To create the GIF, we're going to create, click Enable Animations, and then we're going to click on the Settings tab. In the Settings tab, this is going to allow us to apply whichever template we want to use to the animated GIF. The GIF can be sent in either MP4 or .GIF formats, and there's some differences to each of these. So we're going to go ahead and add our background to this template. I've got a green screen background that I'm going to be shooting on. So we'll add that. And then we'll be ready to go. Now, when we take a look at MP4s and GIFs, the difference is, is that MP4s are a video file and a GIF is a series of images um, set to look like a file, like, as a video. As the time of this recording, you cannot upload GIFs to services such as Facebook or Instagram. They have to be MP4s. Um, if you're doing this from a mobile device. So once that's done, um, we're ready to go. We click the OK button. And we can choose our image size. I'm going to choose the largest image size here uh, and uh, still send that over. Um, I don't have a print template because I don't need it, but I'm going to start my booth. And you can see here, there is my animated GIF. Now again, sending GIFs is really easy. Um, basically, you want to choose whichever format best fits the needs for your clients uh, and for your business. Oftentimes, people will choose to send MP4s as currently. Uh, that is the best way to upload via a mobile device from Insta to Instagram or to Facebook. So that is sending animated GIFs in Darkroom Booth 3.0.